Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're here at Phillip Island Grand Prix Circuit for the Phillip Island six hour relay. This event is a regularity relay, meaning that the person that wins this event is actually the person that gets the closest to their consistent lap time. I've got my GoPro on, mounted to my chest. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of this. We're gonna be shooting with the Sigma 100 to 400 at least in this spot. We're gonna take you behind the scenes and we're gonna see what we can make. So stay tuned, cut to GoPro. All right, so we're in, uh, we're in GoPro mode now. Shooting on the Sony A9 Mark II, Sigma 100 to 400. Let's do this. So I guess in some of the previous videos, I've just sort of stood there and taken photos. And I haven't really provided a lot of uh, information on how I actually do that. So a lot of the effort in taking the photos it's all the same principle as panning shots, like that you would see for a tram or a train or a car. So what we're doing is we're setting a, sh a slow shutter speed, whatever aperture you need to make, and ISO you need to make that work. And then you're, you're want, if the car's coming through, you want to be panning with the car, trying to keep whatever point you're looking at on the car in the same spot in the frame. Any movement in that frame will blur the image. And what you're, aim what you're hoping for is that the car will remain sharp and crisp, but the background will blur out because you're panning with it. Now, the slower you go, obviously, the harder that is to do. And also, sort of counterintuitively, the slower the car is going, the same thing tends to happen. So if you're shooting Formula One, for example, you could probably get away panning it one one sixtieth of a second. But photographing a car that's doing 80 k's an hour is a different story. So you may not be able to do that. What you don't want to do is you don't want to be panning your upper body only. Like with just your arms just doing this. You want to get stable and you want to pan the whole body with the car. With this, it also helps if you've got a tracking mode on the camera and you can put it in tracking, lock it onto a point on the car and then track through. Now, I'm not really a fan of these shots because I think we're a little bit too zoomed out. So we might need to uh, hop in the car, move down to another spot and see what we can get. So we might end this POV here and we're gonna jump probably down to Siberia. See you there. Welcome back to POV. We are here at Siberia. I've swapped lenses now to the 70 to 200 F2.8 and right as I see that, the Caterham has wedged itself in the gravel trap. Right, F11, 150th of a second. something that's going to take a little bit of time and practice. from the Grand Prix track. It's a couple of days later, I didn't end up shooting an outro. I didn't end up shooting the podium celebration. With five minutes left of the race, the rain that was threatening for the entire day finally broke and came down, got really wet. So I didn't want to shoot an outro. The podium ceremony ended up being held in the cafeteria. So it was very crowded, very tight and very loud from the rain on the roof. Decided to give it a miss and head back home. So thanks for coming with me to the Phillip Island Grand Prix circuit. I really hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that like button down below leave a comment telling me what you liked or what you think I can improve. If you want to see more content like this, smack that subscribe button and ring that notification bell 
to get notified about all future content. Thank you all for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.